Hey guys, um, I've been asked this question for several days now as to what is my take on this whole PlayStation Network outage. Well, based on the information that Sony decides to finally fucking give us um, on the 26th, this is a whole uh, six days after the service went out. Huh. April 17th through the 19th, hackers got into the PlayStation Network, was able to obtain the following information. Your name, your your uh, address, your date of birth, your fucking, uh, what do you call it, your credit card information. They found here, it says here, we have basically, says name, address, country, email address, birth date, PlayStation Network user and password, um, your personal data including purchase history, billing address, your uh, security questions, um, your sub accounts, and credit card data basically was taken. Okay. Sony, way to drop the ball again. Yet again. These issues, before you guys to finally decided, hey, let's fucking shut things down. I reported uh, a while back to you guys. Around that time, I said, look, something's acting weird because logins, every other login I try fucking fails. So now you're telling me that my credit card information got stolen? That's basically what you're telling me, Sony. You know, thank you. You know, you really had just reaffirmed to me my decision to completely forget about Sony. Next generation Sony, I'm not buying your shit. I am not buying the NGP. I'm not buying the next generation PlayStation console. Fuck you, Sony. You're not getting any more of my money. You dick me over the yellow eye death, and then you fail to be responsible in a sense of this uh, situation. You guys stay quiet for several days, saying, oh yeah, we're working on upgrading certain things and we'll be back to you. Why the fuck can not you guys tell us, you know, four or five days ago, that, yeah, your shit, your information pretty much was stolen? Why couldn't you give us this particular information? These are things that are more important. I could give a fuck whether or not I could play Modern Warfare 2 online. I don't give a shit. My personal information is much more important than being able to play online. Again, you guys should have just came out clean with this information a few days ago. That would have been a little bit better in this situation. I mean, you even have IGN, and this is a very interesting article. They basically have the take of every uh, IGN editor. And um, basically, each one of them says, I am um, frankly annoyed and unnerved. I mean, some people are saying that they're, that they're very upset, that how, how Sony really didn't take any action to inform their customers, look, we fucked up. They never said this. They never said, hey, you know, you guys should check things out. No, what does Sony tell us to do? Okay, on April 26th, decides to tell us that uh, between April 17th and 19th, certain network, uh, PlayStation Network and Currency uh, service user account was compromised. Okay? Then they have the nerve says, hey, look, U.S. residents are entitled under U.S. law to one free credit report annually. No, 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 fuck you, Sony. You're telling me I have to go to, a, you know, go out of my way for a credit report? Fuck you, Sony. This is the deal. We trust you with our personal information. It doesn't matter if somebody hacks into your servers and gets the information. You're fucking responsible. Not those guys. I don't care who the fuck stole it. I care that you guys, you, Sony, were not secure enough to prevent this shit from happening. That's what I'm upset about. Because no, Sony, you're going to learn the life lesson here. You're going to learn that here in America, I don't care how you do it in fucking Japan, here in America, you are held responsible for the data that you require us to give you in order to use the services. Your fucking contract, your legal terms of service, does not excuse this shit. It does not. So, Sony, prepare to be held in court because people are not going to take this shit sitting down. You know, yes, I bitch and complain that the PlayStation 3 dies. What has just happened completely dominates yellow light of death in my eyes. What has just happened has completely dominated anything that has Sony has ever done to me in the past. Sony, this is a major issue. And if my information's stolen, Sony, I'm seeing you in fucking court. I swear to God, I will. But now, here's a little key information to those guys out here who subscribe to me. What is a practice that I use 
And what do I do? Okay, look, I'm the type of person, and here's my wallet, but I'm going to get out, let's say, my subway card. Okay. You have a subway card, you know, you have it, you know, you swipe it all the time. Let's say this is a credit card. What do I do with my credit card? I won't go, I cut it up every four to five months. I destroy my credit card and I get a new one. You can legally get this done and it's free. So if you have a bank account, you have a debit card, whatever, and you're purchasing online a lot or even using a card a lot, it is a very good practice. And this is one situation where my practice paid off. I have not updated my PlayStation Network account since I got my latest debit card. So the, the information that was on file, the information that the hackers got, credit card wise or debit card wise is an outdated card that is no longer in use a card that has been terminated that has been you know discontinued sent you know for you know pretty much for a significant amount of time um, so basically I'm not in entirely concerned in that respect I am concerned the fact that my username and passwords were taken that you know the the street address and all that information was taken but you know, card-wise, I am not concerned at all because this is actually a very good practice to have. You can go to any one of your banks, whether it be, you know, Bank of America, Bank of New York, you know, whatever. If you have Bank of KFC, if they ever exist, you can go there and say, look, I would like to change out my card. And, you know, if they ask you a reason, say, for security reasons, I like to swap out my numbers every so often. Um, and yes, it's a pain in the ass because you have to update all your online shopping, you have to update all the information, but it's better to be safe than sorry, and here is a clear point and reason to do so. So, for now on, I believe in my method. I believe that, you know, you should re- you should change out your card every so often. I would say every four to five months, you should go to your bank and say, look, I want to change out my card numbers. And, you know, it's not a bad thing to do nowadays because now, yes, the hackers may or may not have my card that was on file, but good luck trying to use it because it's inactive. I changed the numbers, so that's a very good thing to do. I strongly urge all of my subscribers to do that um, because it is very safe. And the fact is the moment they try to use those card numbers, it's just going to say, um, sorry, this card's been inactive since blah, blah, blah. You know, so definitely do that. But Sony, you guys dropped the ball. I do not support your shit anymore. I just don't, I can't believe you guys let this slip for several days without telling us. It took you this long to tell us. And then you guys had the fucking nerve to say, well, here, here's all your legal rights and everything. You better put a fucking paragraph that says you guys can legally sue the shit out of us. Because that's what's going to happen, Sony. It doesn't matter who the fuck hacked you. It matters that you were hacked. That's the problem. So I bet I hope you guys have insurance because you guys are gonna be paying a pretty fucking penny within the next few months. Take care guys, look out for future content.